Look, now it's the start of the video, okay? <laughs> so welcome to another NG28 thing. Tonight we're going to be rolling up some warbands for Realm of Chaos. Pablo's here, the mighty Matt Knucklebones is up the top. Do you want to say something, Matt? Is the sound not working now? It is working. I just want All to right. make any noise. We got Dave. Dave, what's your handle? Uh, ADH Dave. ADH Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And Monk. And not you're, not, you're not. You're not in shot. Don't know. We get together. Good morning. Hi. Uh, well, cozy. You, you. What's your handle on Instagram? I skull. Uh, on Instagram, YouTube. And um, on toilet walls. <laughs> yeah, and googly eyes on the Space Marine at Warhammer World, I think. That was, that was your, yeah, that was yeah. Took some doing. Right, okay. Well, first of all, uh, I want to talk about a little bit about Realm of Chaos. Just talk about what we're going to be doing, uh, what the whole point of this thing is. Um, Realm of Chaos is two books. Tomes, I'd say. And they contain army lists. They contain... Uh, stuff for role playing. They've got loads of bits and bobs in. Uh, but one of the, the, the my favourite thing about it is that you can play like a little campaign system. Uh, it was kind of like I guess the forerunner to stuff like Necromunda, um, but it's very very unformed and <laughs> suitably chaotic. Uh, so tonight we're going to roll up some warbands. You sort of like randomly generate. Um, and I've played this game a lot. This is what I used to play growing up as a kid. You know, me and my mates would like make war bands and stuff because you don't need that many models. And, you know, it's easier than getting a whole army together. It's a lot freer and stuff. But it is extremely unbalanced and ridiculously chaotic. You know, one of us might roll up a dragon. You know, what you're going to do if you've got a dragon and somebody else rolls like a goblin level zero guy as their champion. So my role in this is going to be to GM a little bit of what's going on uh, and like hit people with the nerf hammer if they need hitting with it, buff some people if they're like, get a really crummy wall band out at the end of it. Um, yeah, and then when you like, anybody wants to join in can join in and just go along with us, make a wall band just for the fun of it. If you want to then build the models, great. If you want to play with us, great. I'm going to be take ages to make my models and then play. Uh, so this is like our NG28 Realm of Chaos starting episode zero, okay? Um, so, who's ready to tell us what Chaos Champion they're going to go for? I, uh, uh, who's ready first? Right. Is it you got to pick a, a, pick a, a Chaos a power. Mod, basically, or yeah. is it a... What are you going to be, Pal? Slanish. What are you going to be, Dave? I'm going to be uh, undecided. What are you going to be, Monk? Oh, I'm just going to be Slanish. Well, let's go Slanish together. What man. are you going to be, Matt? Uh, what is there? What are the merits of these things? Uh, okay, right. So, Thinking. thinking angry. Does everything too much. And, ooh, fruity. Ah, uh, we got Lewis. All right, Lewis. That's a very good description. Fruity thing, you know. Right, okay. So, if you go to pay, if you're looking in, we're going to be doing this all out of mostly. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Pages. What is it? No. Uh, no. Sixteen. Yeah. We're going to be doing this mostly out of Lost and the Damned because that is like the second book, and it's got everything's a bit more up to date. Not this one there. The two books are slightly contradictory in what you can take and what you can't take. Okay. So, um, yeah. if you go to page, if you go to page, uh, six introduction to the realms of chaos, 200, page 279 in the rule book. I think you're here, right? Yeah. Page 279 in there, 279? yeah, right at the back, yeah, because it's like the reference uh, page. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, here we go. Let's just go down what book there is. So a little Dark elves. Yeah. Here. Summary. Yeah, 279, the summary. So uh, what we're going to do first is you, you choose your powers, then you do your starting profiles table. The victory points yeah, table yeah. is kind of how you 
you win the game by getting victory points. And when you get 10 victory points, you get a chance to like level up your Chaos Lord and to, or your champion. And to do that, you'll roll on the rewards table, which is page 285. Okay? Uh, so I let's... Ask... Oh. Sorry? Sorry? On page 281, it says, it says you've got Mark of Undivided Chaos. Yeah. So let's go to page 281 and look at the marks. We can have a bit of a talk about the marks. So, uh, undivided, Dave's going to be undivided. We, we'll roll up our champions in a minute, so we'll get like their starting profiles, and then you apply what, immediately you apply what it says on the marks of chaos. Marks of the chaos powers. But Dave, you're going to get, um, if the new champion chooses to worship chaos in all its undivided glory. Rather than a specific chaos power, then he receives a random reward from the chaos rewards table. He also receives a random chaos attribute. If the champion's mark of chaos gives him an attribute, turns him into a spawn, re-roll it, whatever. Okay? So you get an extra reward and a mutation. Extra reward. <laughs> yeah. Um, the blood chart. There we go. Is that what you've just described? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's in uh, Place to Dark. Page. Yeah. So when you... When you're up on followers, can you have like uh, demon X if you are undivided? No. No. I think you get power specific. Yes. Ones, don't you? Mm -hmm. And there aren't there. Are, there are some. I can't remember what was the, the undivided one? But you're very unlikely to get demon. Mm -hmm. You are most likely to get a sword that's got a demon, in, which is a whole <laughs> great big bit of fun. So should we go and like? And you two are going to be slanish. So Slanesh gets a buff to their um Wheel was it? Yeah, buff to their uh willpower. Which is like probably the worst of all the attributes. Yeah. Yeah, they got fun. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's fun anyway. I'm doing corn, so I'm gonna get a suit of chaos armor. Uh so what are you doing, Matt? You go this Nurgle and Zinch hasn't got any representation. What? Ah, so Nurgle is uh, plus one toughness. Uh, Good party. Hang on, I get mixed up between Slanesh and Nurgle. So Nurgle's all the rotten kind of, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Zinch is the different day, which is all kind of. I always like Zinch because you, uh, you get a nice free magic item, randomly determined. Lots of birds and feathered kind of iconography. It's it's fates and change. That's what their kind of flavour. All right. I so, might as well go for anyway, eh? What did you say? So you're going to be getting D three mutations. Okay. There's a little bit in here about uh, chaos attributes. All right. At uh, this point, well, you've got to right. write down. When you do your stats, you've got to write down how many rewards you got and how many attributes you've got. Chaos attributes are just the word they use for mutations in the generation. Right, so so I write off by writing sneeze and Yep. Zinch, you've got, you got to sneeze it. Don't say it, sneeze it. He's just having fun. He knows what he's doing. Right, right well, let's do uh, starting profiles then. You ready for your starting profile? Right. Ready for your starting profile? Yeah. Profile. So this is page 280. I'm just going to roll some stuff on page 280. So you can get a hobgoblin in one of them. That's all I can see. But maybe there's loads more. If you want to, you can roll on the other table. There's a, there's a written new table there. Yeah, you want the uh, starting profiles for champions. Oh, Keep going. Yeah. Well, you and me are going to be rolling on this one now. Uh, no, we're going to use this book. Mm -hmm. If you want to use that book, you can, but like the two books contradict each other. We have to pick one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the easier and better to use one. Okay. Let's use this one. Sorry, what, okay. what, what am I looking for? You're you looking for your starting profile save. This is page 38. Excellent.
So roll your dice. Let's do it. So what page is it? Okay, it's two hundred eighty. Now straight away, it's just starting profile dwarves, humans, dark elves, other races. Yeah. So I can choose dwarves. Right. No, you see the numbers at the top. You got D100 oh, here. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. And then when you're in it. This is a good point to talk about one of the rules that is in the rule book, which is that you do not have to roll. You can always pick whatever you want. If it wasn't already obvious. <laughs> you are allowed to choose, but it kind of like it's fun to do all the rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, 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 roll. Roll. What I'm going to say is we're all going to have one re roll and one mulligan. Okay, so if it's like you don't like a thing and you really want a thing, you can you can have it. Mm -hmm. If you are just like, oh, I just need to re-roll that, you can re-roll. All right? Yeah. Right. So I'm just gonna right, so roll. basically, roll. Kurt. <laughs> Hands up. Uh, well, I need to yeah. say who the the Who's white one is the the big one. We're picking on this page. You pick whatever you want to be: a cow, dwarf, thing. dark elf, human, no, or there's other a, race, there's, there's and then you roll thing. on that. No, there's numbers. You roll a D hundred first, and then it. You see where it says Chaos Dwarf one to twenty. I roll a thirty eight. So here, human. Ah. So you got like a seventy percent chance, gotcha. sixty percent chance of rolling gotcha. a human anyway. Probably going to be gotcha. a human. So once you got your race, then you roll another D hundred and see what profile you get. Uh, Why did the big one? Forty seven. It's ninety six. Forty seven. Uh, what did you roll to start with? 96? 96. That's, oh, that's other races. 100 again. Uh, right. Why? Mm -hmm. like this one. What? 16. Uh, a centaur. Centaur. Yeah. Right, for writing down stats... I've got a human human. Whoa! One level. So I rolled 59 and got a human, obviously. That's the, the chunk of it. And then rolled 9... Oh, hang on, no, sorry. Can't read my own dice. 91. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. A human 10 wizard. That's, that's pretty reasonable. Level 10s. Like, when we're playing this game, like, level All 10 right. is pretty good, but not overpowered. Right. What did you get? Level 5 hero. Uh, Fine. I mean, a level 5 hero. So you bump yourself up to level 10 hero. Mm hmm. Uh, 64. Yeah, the centaurs are already pretty good. Can I, can so, I call me Mulligan? And yeah. just, I'd rather do dwarves. Yeah, what's 91 on the dwarf chart? Oh, I see, yeah. Um, Beastman. Um, hey, you want to see? Wizard at level 15. How does that work? What the fuck? Well, if you want to just... I mean, do you want to be a wizard or do you want to re-roll that? I, I, I'd like to do dwarves. I've had a plan do you want a dwarf on the back burner to do dwarves. Do you want a dwarf wizard? Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right, take a level ten then, because that's what you rolled up on the first one. And... Yeah. That sounds yeah. fair. Yeah. Don't worry. And then, uh, like you, the because the magic's pretty full on in this game, so yeah. level ten's pretty like you don't get a lot of spells. It's kind of quite fun. Right. Uh, I am going to be doing a Minotaur warband because I'm a dirty cheat. <laughs> you straight in there. There's another, there's a whole other thing about it. <coughs> you remember when I told you about Kurt, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. So, yeah. 65 is level 5, level 5. Come around and watch me cheat on the internet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you can pick, you can basically pick beast men or minotaurs or centaurs as well. It's like, a, yeah. like an extra thing. They're a little bit more complicated to, because the thing is, they're pretty powerful. Which means that when we're playing together, unless there's some sort of like you guys roll up really powerful war bands, my guy's a little bit overpowered. But then when he fights in combat, he's got a chance of like just staying there and eating the corpse. It makes sense that the only guy I know how to play is the, 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 the better character, right? <laughs> makes a lot of sense. I've done a lot of these war bands and I've never it's done a minor cool. war band, so I'm like, Oh, poor you. You'll be fine, man. You'll be fine. I'm going to do it. What's next? Are we all... all right. I've got a centaur. Centaur? Human yeah, wizard. My brain's already racing. What, what, 
what kind of combination of beef and man. Uh, it needs to be maybe very doing, chaotic. We, we also, maybe I'll do a and a man body. Okay, so we've done the... the trouser one. Yeah. But is he wearing tight? This is a big question. Right, did you did you write down your, your actual profile on your bit of paper? Because we're going to be applying a lot of modifiers. And, and so, sorry, what was that? Uh, plat on your will, what was that, Ash, was it? Yeah, you need to write out, you're going to need to write it all out because you're going to get that yeah. up into your hero. Yeah. It's probably good to do it in pencil as well. This is entertaining. What did you what did you roll up? Matt? I've got a goblin. A goblin? A goblin. Just level <laughs> level nothing goblin. Well, it's like Did you roll other? So what is the other row? Yeah, other and then thirty two goblin. Right, well, uh take yourself a level ten goblin. Okay? Can we see your format? Well, it's just that. But I just write save at the end. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's just like right knowing where to put things so you yeah. don't go back on yourself yeah. and end up grabbing. You're going to need to record your fear points. Fear points. You're yeah. going to need to record how many rewards you've got. You're going to need to record how many mutations or attributes, whichever you feel is easier. Attributes. Uh, uh, goblin. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm going to page on 15 to write down my stats. Oh, they've got mutations, lots of mutations. Cinch. Okay. Yeah. So, how do I do a level 10 goblin then, Curtis? Uh, I'll get you the stats out in a second. I'm just writing my ones down. Or if you go to the back of the, the Lost and the Damned. Okay, the page uh, just before the equipment, page two nine four. It's got it's got the best table in Warhammer, which is the Universal Creature Table, which has got every stat of every creature up until that point, and it's all in alphabetical order. You can't see. You can't see that small. Look at that gun. The sixth edition, I think. Find the shock attack gun. That's always my favourite show. No, no, it doesn't have the weapons, it's just the profiles. So, right, I can read it out to you if you want. You ready, Matt? I'll, I'm, I'll find it first of all. Goblin. 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 Oh, there we are, Goblin. Level 10. So is that yeah. 10 hero? Yeah, level 10 hero. Gotcha. Unless you really want to be a wizard. I don't mind if you're a level 10 wizard either. You can pick. I kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of like the idea of some sort of mutated goblin warband of horribleness. Lost in the den. Move, weapon skill, bow skill, or is it ballistic skill? Strength, toughness, wounds. Sorry, I did not realise that that's what you thought we were doing. Four, four, four. Okay, right. Uh, are we ready to go on to the next bit? Three. Yep. So when it says no, anyway, when it says six plus one on leadership, what does that mean? Do I got to do the plus just... one? Okay, uh, means that if you're in a unit, you get plus one to your rolls for like leadership and stuff. Oh, I'll keep I think you can do it anybody within 12 gotcha. inches as well, but I'd need to check that rule. Or six inches. Okay. okay. You, you can basically, like, he's a rally point and he, he buffs you guys around him. <laughs> right. Got that. Sorted. All right. Okay. Let's have a look at the. So, have you applied your mark of chaos? Have you applied your mark of chaos? Yeah. Plus one. Plus one. Dave's one we'll have to do next. So let's just have a quick look at the... Let's have a look at the Chaos Reward table on page 283. Oh, that one. This one. It's also in that one, but it doesn't have all of them. And I don't know where it is. That's the D1000 table, right? That's the D100. It'll be in that... You know where you were... You know where you were... Uh, 
that's your mutations, yeah, but we're going to look at the... Maybe... That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Payoff rewards. It's not right. Why is it there to three? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. 284. Yeah. 285. You're confusing us. Yeah. See, I've got rewards here. That is correct, yeah. Okay, so, so the Chaos Rewards table is how you level up in the game. Uh, when you play the game, you get... Victory. Yeah, when you, when you level up, you get victory points. When you get 10 victory points, you roll on the Chaos Rewards table. Dave, because he's undivided, right. immediately gets a roll on the Chaos Rewards table. Oh. You you can and as well uh, re-roll anything over uh, under a forty because that's another mutation. Okay, so go anything under a forty. Eight, eighty-four, eighty-four. Yeah. Gift of the gods. The champion has got under the special attention of his chaos patron, uh, assuming he has one. Refer to the patron's gift table. You're undivided. If the champion has no patron. And he cannot have a gift of the gods. The result is rerun. Great. So, um, it's going to be the same thing, isn't it? 75. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, look. What do you like to pick? You can either be frenzied. Have a... Demon weapons are pretty harsh. Do you want a demon weapon? You can have chaos armor. You can have a steed of chaos. You can have... Ooh, yeah. You can have centaur on a steed. <laughs> you can have... Do two, it! You can have two, <laughs> chaos spawn that follow you. You can have some extra strength. You can have uh, some de like demonic pounds to follow. I'll roll again. We'll just make really nice. Nine. Ninety. 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 Ninety-six. Okay, the Eye of the Gods. He was fighting. Right. The Eye of the Gods is how you level up in this game. You roll on the Chaos Rewards table, and if you get... Oh, we've lost Matt. Are you still there, Matt? I'm here. Oh, okay, no video it's though. Gone. Uh, oh. You get the Eye of the Gods, and you've got more than six Chaos Attributes, you become a Chaos Spawn. If you've got more than six Chaos Rewards, you become a Demon Prince. And if you haven't got any of those things, which is what Dave's going to get, uh, your, your patron is reviewing your progress with interest. You get a chaos weapon with one randomly determined attack. Are you a wizard? You're not a wizard. No. Nah. Champions other than a wizard and champions of Thorn are given the powers of a wizard with a magic spell of level one, the associated number of spells of magic. But the weapon shot on you. Yeah, whether it's yeah. a lesser yeah. one. You get that, Dave? Kind of. I'm confused. I'm not going to lie. You rolled 91. Yeah, just so you wait. Yeah, I got that bit. You're so. you're on number three. Right, if champion has less than six years, which I do. Yeah, less than six years at use, which you do. do. A okay. chaos weapon with one randomly turned property. Okay, and Ooh, you become a level one wizard. And I become a wizard. Yeah, that's what it says. If you don't want to have to bother with magic, then just take the plus one attack and plus one wound. Don't mind doing that. Like. Oh, wait, he says if the champion is a wizard, he also receives one attack. Yeah, but if you don't want to have to have the hassle of the massively complicated magic system in this game, then just take, pretend you're a wizard who doesn't do any spells, and take the plus one attack and plus one wizard. Yeah? 100%, I'm with you on that. I like cards. Monk has got the, uh, the chaos, weapon. chaos weapons open, so if you want to. Roll a D thousand. Yeah. Here we go. I roll D thousand. You just roll three. Oh, yeah, three. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I'm in the nine hundred. Nine hundred straight off the back. Good. And twenty-three. Nine hundred and twenty-three. Swiftness. Okay. You're a swift. So you've got a weapon of swiftness. Weapon of swiftness. Yeah, and you can pick what type of weapon it is. But there is a table that if you want to roll to see exactly what kind of weapon you get. Or you can just pick. Oh no, I'm going completely random. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Where is swiftness? That's swiftness in this type. Page ninety-two. Uh, yeah, plus D10 initiative. Only when you've got the weapon. 
That's nuts. Okay, right. Uh, all right, so that's that bit done. So now we're on to mutations. Everybody gets one mutation. Not anything yet. You get D3 mutations, Matt. We're, we're, I have got an item as well. Where do I do the item? Oh, right? yeah. Random magic items. Okay. Uh, there is a page for random magic items. Because it said I received one from my god, apparently. So. Yeah, for being Zinch. That's why I, always, I usually pick Zinch. Okay, what page is So, page 287. Yeah. So, you got the chaos reward because you are undivided, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just got a So, oh, I roll... Got when we get 10 points? Yeah. Think? Yeah. Uh, do you want to go to the mutations table? We're all going to be rolling on that. Right. D thousands. That's I basically... Roll... Yeah. So, I roll a D100 from a magic item. Yeah. 95. Uh, a, a musical a instrument. instrument. What? A bubusela. I'll get a roll for that. That's not uh, 59. A hymn of hate. Oh, I can't. So is that just a nice tune that right, scares right. people? Right. It is in... The rules for these are in... They're in Warhammer Armies. Stolen me, Thomas. Oh, you didn't tell me how to have that. Well, it's uh, you know, I'm really sorry that I didn't tell you. I thought we were playing mini games. I don't know what's going on. Magic instruments. What does the game of hate do? Yeah? Oh, there's a bloody hole. I'm just looking it up. There's a bloody hole. There is a bloody okay. There is a hole. I'm sure I can find a PDF somewhere, but it'd be nice to know what it does. Game of hate. Uh, Is this personal chaos attributes? Yes. Do you want to roll some? So you uh you anyway, you suffer from hatred, which is a good thing. It buffs you in this game uh, against all enemy units. So hate everyone. Yeah, uh, your 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 champion does, but then in the <laughs> game, if you like, butt your champion up against other models, then you form a unit. And then the whole unit gets that rule. Yeah? Yeah, gotcha. Okay, okay. you also need to roll a D3 just... for how many chaos mutations you're going to get. The rest of us just get one. Okay. So who wants to go? Oh, I've actually got D3. Three. Three? So you've got a right on... Three got... on my very... You've got a right on your thing that you have now got... Three chaos attributes, which is going to make it harder for you to become a demon prince and easier for you to turn into a spawn. So is that like mutations? Yes, that is exactly what they are. Yeah. What did you get? Who oh, wants to be a demon one? prince anyway? Ooh. You're halfway to being a spawn already. Yeah. Yeah. So basically. Regen on attributes, right? Nine. Nine. But when I become a spawn, what happens? No, 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 It'd probably be a different chart. I have to roll. The wind's blue in a different direction. No, they're the same chart. Nine. So I've got a sub chart. So roll again. Roll another percent on. I've got three on my group. No, hang on. Right. So. D3 plus one. So four times. So this chart here. Four times. Okay. Roll again. Hang on. So you got a three. Uh, yeah, I've got, yeah, so roll the three. I've rolled three basically, yeah. So that is three so, times you grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that my it's it's quite, it's like a guy's shoe. Is he a dwarf? There's a centaur. Yeah, he's yeah. a three times larger centaur. Ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be like <laughs> am I little <laughs> pony size? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm body, change into the corresponding part of some animal. Oh, roll yeah. a hand, do one hundred to determine how. How many parts of the human's body have to tell? He just rolled he just rolled a hand. So a hand. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, but do I need to roll how many uh, yeah, I'm just gonna check. How here. many parts? 
one or more parts so it's a hand so it's a pair of arms pair of legs uh, lower body blah 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 so it's this hand then but that's and then one, no no he does he does things like one hand pair of hands yeah yeah sort of saying so one of your hands okay. it's, it's uh it's something is 80. 80. what's that that is no, a nine. Really nice. nice. Got a little bit. Got a little bit from it. Okay, eighty-nine. A goat or a sheep. Nice. Nice. Well, useful. It's very useless. Really useless now, right? Yeah. yeah. You now cannot hold anything in that hand. Okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna on. use my. Have you seen those goats on the side of the mountain? I'm gonna use my reroll on that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is. <laughs> what what oh, else do we have to roll? roll? Uh, it's that champion. Give you champion something good. Yeah, you got a re-roll if you want one. So oh, no, if you okay. roll, re-roll on this, or we're going to have something more important later. Let's roll all the other dice, and then you can decide and go back. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because it's not so, going to affect the uh, profile. Go so, yeah. yeah. Write in pencil and rub it out. I'm going to roll mine. Seven hundred and sixty-eight. What would that be? Big on that. Four oh five. Oh, I'll keep it that. Yeah, let's see, I got rearranged face. Just you wait till we start playing. Which is what I was gonna uh, I was gonna do. Oh no, hang on, what was it? Uh seven six eight. Yeah, that's right. Rearranged face. The other thing is though that some of the mutations are awful. Right? Yeah, yeah. And oh, yeah. if you get something that doesn't affect you, in a way, it's quite good. You basically got something that didn't harm your character. Hurrah. Okay. You didn't shrink. You didn't become mindless. You didn't get flipping. You didn't roll uncontrollable flat films. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's up to you. All right. Okay. So now we've done that. Usually what you're supposed to do is roll. Silly voice. <laughs> Oh, I got rearranged face. It doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, I get one fear point. Does everybody note it, note it down how many fear points they got as well? No. It's not come out. How do I get fear points? It just tells you in the little mutation entry. And if you hit a certain amount of fear points... Oh, is that what the FP is? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, D3. Uh, regeneration. Plus regeneration. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to find that. In so I don't have any fear points, right? Uh, maybe they don't have anything here. Well, because oh, it doesn't say there. Maybe you point. haven't got it. Like, that's just the, the reference. You need to look at the actual entry in the table. Oh. So did, you roll? did you roll a second one? So, just... Rather than you, you have a story, you're going to No, I'm going to wait because you said we can wait until the end. So I'm going to see. Generation. The mutant gains one fear point for each replacement body part. <coughs> you basically need five fear points for Queen to do anything. Of course, fear, you know, you five. Right, are we ready to roll? Dave, have you done the final year? Uh, yeah, I've got another I've got another one, haven't I? No. Uh, you just get one, because it says on the, on the Gifts of Chaos table, the Rewards of Chaos table, that, that you pick your thing they all say you get one or oh, one or the other one attribute okay we all get one except matt who got d3 but you also get a reward instead of armor or a... oh, i got you yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and your reward was that uh, swifty... oh yeah your blade and plus one attack and plus one wound that was it yeah. so you came off pretty sweet for that say that but growth for uh, taking my weapon skill down to one was it yeah <laughs> What's SW? Strength. Uh, SW? Yeah. On size, it's the weapon skill then. SW. Uh, SW. That must be a misprint. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing that could be. ST. Let me just have a look. Uh, what? Growth. Sorry, I'm. Uh... Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's yes. weapon skill, ballistic skill, shit. Yeah. The movement, because I've got. Fast and hopper. Right, so finish. fast is movement times three. So you literally times your movement by three. Yeah. Not plus three. Yeah. Okay. No. So 
Yeah, and then it's got movement times one third. So which one do I do first? Should I just do them in the order that I rolled them? Well, with, doesn't with times a division, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, does it? Because times three divided by three is the same. One times three. That's times three. Nice. Oh, yeah, because it's divided, so it's thirds, it, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll get me calculator out. Did you literally just uh, roll a mutation and then the other mutation just totally ruined the mutation? Yeah, fast, then hopper, and then silly voice. Hey! <laughs> nice. Hello! I'm a chaos goblin! <laughs> That's a, that's a normal goblin voice. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe he's got a really yeah, deep voice. Like, so Hello. Can't find what? How many fears? Barry, yeah. Barry White there. What are you looking for? What? What do you need to find? You need to choose right. your attribute thing. He didn't mention Right, in one, you get one for each part. What is it? Um, okay, so I get just one, right? Because I uh, have... Uh, are we all done with our mutations? Should we get on to rolling up our warband? Yeah, what do you reckon the SW is then? Do you reckon that's strength? What do you reckon the same thing? I don't know. Because I looked at the thing. Oh, yeah, that's just strength. Yeah, yeah. Feel okay. strength. I've got loads of wounds, but I can't hear anything now. What's four? So I'm strength eight. It's just a tipping eight. Strength eight, but I went and what? You are, then you're going to like hit one in six times and then kill whatever you hit. <laughs> yeah. What time are you? What, three attacks? Four attacks? Uh, three attacks now, yeah. And 7.5 wounds. Eight? <laughs> it's, uh... Uh, you always round down as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. But, but like for the half. Because sometimes you can get mutation that gives you the extra half. Oh, right. So, you, yeah. Just keep track of it. Uh, all right. So, are we ready to do. Followers? That retinue. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the retinue table. Okay, so retinue table is on page 290. No idea what it is in this one. Right, it will be proper early for some reason. Oh, here we go. Retinue of a Curse Champion yeah. 57 in this one. Consistent. Fuck that. <clears throat> okay, so this is a D100. Right, now normally you put there's two different ways of doing this, right? In the uh, Slaves to Darkness, it says you have to roll to see if you've got a percentage chance of doing it in the uh, Lost and the Damned. I think it's like you get either two 50-50 chances or it's just you just get one. But what I'm going to say as a GM to make the game more fun and give us something to do is you get two rolls on this table. Any rolls on this table, you can swap for one roll on the Universal <coughs> Creatures table. <coughs> Universal Creatures table, you'll probably get one human, but you might get a dragon. So so you have to choose before, if you yeah. want to have two here or one on the other one, right? No, no, you've got two rolls. See, see what you get. You can either right. roll your rolls on here or on the other one or whatever. You have one roll on here and one roll on the Universal Creatures table. We can have two rolls on the Universal Creatures table, or you can have two rolls on the Retinue table. Okay, okay. I am going to do one here, I want to have the other. I would roll and see what you get. Because if you get okay. D6 dark yeah. counts and roll one dark count, we can then... do that, yeah. So this is the big one. White is the big one. 71. 71. Yeah, this is cool. Because I wanted to use my Spanish guerrilla. Yeah. I haven't got any D4. Did you bring a D4? D8 and harder. Yeah, we can do D8 and harder. Or D12. I've got one. Yeah. I think Monk's got one here. So you have you. So what am I doing? You're rolling on the retinue table. So I've already tried. Which is page 290. Okay. That's a four. So I just roll a D100. A four in total? Yeah, I roll a one and a, and a three. Or four mercenaries. Yeah, you that. wanted to look in that book, didn't you? I think it's the Tylean... Chaos Warrior. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Does that mean I get a Chaos Warrior? Okay. Yep. If you... Plus uh, Captain. I need to roll for the Captain. Do it. Yeah. Mm. Chaos Thug. 25, which is a level 5 hero. 
Um, come on, big numbers, big numbers. No way. Okay. Got two chaos dwarves. Fuck the fuck. How many damage do I do this guy? Right. What are you sorry? What are you saying? No rules. How many times do I do it on that thing? Once, twice, twice. Twice. Although you are allowed to roll on the universal creatures table and try and get something real mad, but was it the Tylean crossbow? Yeah. Tylean. It's Tylean. So you got two chaos dwarves. Okay, two chaos dwarves. Uh, I'm gonna roll on the mad. Where's eighty one? Beast, 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 man. Ogres. Five beast, man. Ogres. Eighty-one, yeah. D four ogres. D four ogres. Okay. Yeah. Got D four. Yeah. Um. Pick up three. What's that? D four. You got three ogres. You're going to be hard as nails, mate. Right. Okay. So, uh, you can have up to D three chaos mutations as well. Each or yeah. the unit. Well, it's up to you to choose. I'll roll C. How many I get? And if it's three, I'll just put it on one. Because right. I don't want that's like nine mutations on on the gloves, and then. Uh, or you can just have them all with the same three mutations. Let's see. Is it? Uh, uh, B three. B three. Oh yeah. B yeah. So six and a half. One. One mutation. Okay, well, do you want to do different ones for each of them, or are you just going to have them all the same? Yeah, they're different, and I can model them up. All right. Is that personal attributes? Or is that... Uh, in, the, in, the rule, uh, yeah. in the rule book... Three ogres. Hang on, let me just explain a little thing. In the rule book, there are the personal chaos attributes, which I much prefer, but it's more bookkeeping, whereas they also have this rule called dominant chaos attributes, which are like attributes for units. So you can pick either. The the dominant ones tend to be like less extreme, but also you've got less chance of getting anything bad. Whereas the D thousand table of all the crazy ones is the fun one. I'm gonna get fun one. All right. Oh wait, that was. How many rolls do we get? We get two rolls on that. Yeah, on the retinue yeah. table. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do your second roll on the retinue table? Well, I was gonna go for the fruity one and all the dragon. I want something weird. Well, oh, that. that in the back of this book. If you want to roll a D thousand, monk, I will tell you what you get. If I could lose for a pleasure, I can't. Eight hundred and fifty-five. Uh, you got a Gretchen. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> roll a roll a D hundred to see what level Gretchen you get. Come on, bad man. 71. 71. Uh, what level is that? Uh, you got a uh, you got like a level five. No, you got a uh, uh, champion. What is it? They call it champions. Yeah, champion. The champion Gretchen. Yeah. One. Champion Gretchen. <laughs> okay, I want, I want the dragon. I'm gonna call him Dragon though. <laughs> <mode. laughs> <laughs> Four dwarfs. Red is the red is the big one. <laughs> Three hundred and fifty-one. Fifty. Three hundred and fifty-eight. Because I'm cheap. Uh, a troll. Nice. Roll a D hundred to see what level troll you get. Twenty-six. A level ten troll. Three. Do you want to roll four dwarfs? <laughs> it's, Monk, do you want to uh, re-roll your, your crappy goblin for, uh, on the actual sensible retinue table, or you have to take a weird goblin? Go for the dragon. You will not, the chances are you'll just get, like, something bad on this table. Will I? Will I, though? Zero, zero, zero. zero. Can't Ooh. be bad. It's a D thousand. Oh, crap, I've got to roll another one. Yeah. 400 on the dice. Yes. I'm going to re-roll that hopper thing because it makes him to a really crap leader. Okay. If I use my re-roll. you got a creature, so you've got to roll D100 to see what creature that's. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah. 
What am I rolling now? No, nah, dragon's not on this one. Uh, yeah, you roll a d hundred. I'm gonna roll the dragon again, aren't I? I got ninety two. Ninety two is a warhound. Nice wizard with a warhound. What's the what's thirty one on that list? On this list, yeah. no, three hundred and it's a, oh, right, yeah, a yeah. thousand. Four hundred and thirty-one. Four hundred and thirty-one. Right, right. That again, <laughs> again, that's a creature. Again, that's a creature. A creature. Need, hey, we... It's a creature. Right. So you need to roll a d hundred to see what you get. That's interesting. Uh, Ninety-six. Uh, a wild cat. Wild cat. I'm gonna go with a four dwarfs. Right, um, if you go back to the chart as well, it, it will tell you what... Four dwarves or a tiger. It will tell you what equipment you, you got, right? The only retinue table, it will tell you what uh, what equipment they come with. Oh. Chaos dwarves, chaos dwarves, chaos dwarves. What number was the chaos dwarves? Dark elves. 31 to 34. Yeah, this is one I got. Uh... You, so you've got light armor, shield, and a hand weapon. On a five or a six, they can take either a spear or a crossbow if you want. Hand weapon, and a spear or crossbow. Is that what... yeah. Matt, did you roll your followers? Yes. What followers did you get? And hang on a minute. Uh, a chaos thug and five beast men of the champion's patron. Five beast men. Okay. Did you know? Did you have a look to see? Uh, so they've got um, they've got a standard. Oh no, they're they've got shields and light armor. No, they. Uh, and you get to have a standard and musical instrument with them as well. Do I? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is that one or the two of them are carrying things? Yeah. So that's, that's not an additional little dude, is it? Yeah. It's like, uh, that's the stuff they're carrying. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever those do, I don't know. Do you want to, like, instead um, of having, um, uh, I would as well buff your Chaos Warrior to a Chaos Warrior, like the six on the chart. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, okay. And don't forget, to give the chaos, don't forget to give the Chaos Warrior his Mark of Chaos and equipment as if he was a new champion. And he can have D3 Chaos rules as well. D3 what? Mutations. Oh, well, the Chaos Warrior does as well. Yeah. And he gets oh, the Mark of right. and he gets the mark of Zinch as well. So he gets a magic item. Oh. And you can also... Basically, right, okay. you've got... Essentially, he's got D two D three chaos mutations, and a musical instrument, and heavy armor, and a shield, and a hand weapon. Right. So the uh, right the chaos warrior oh. himself. Take, uh, he has take D six chaos hounds, not just one. You, are you taking the hound? Yeah, yeah, but I was going to like a Titan, though, yeah? <laughs> Warhead, Titan. Yeah, two. Two Warhead. Because uh, you've got two dwarves, haven't you? Do you want to yeah, yeah. take five dwarves and... What's your number as well? Slanesh is six, isn't it? I think it's seven. No, seven's Nurgle. No, no, six, six, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're where... Do you want to have... You know, damage, right, you can, so you can either have... Six dwarves and two hounds, or two dwarves and six hounds. I'd probably go for the two hounds, six dwarves. Can I have six dwarves? Uh, what, how many of the, those did you get? You got... Uh, I got five in total. Five in total. Well, I got four normal and the champion and the hero. Five uh, you have two trolls. Have you? Your trolls have also got. Uh, you know, D6 mutation. Oh, well, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what did you roll as that? D3? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I gave him one in. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do six Warhounds. I've got an idea. All right. I okay. don't know how big the... Um... Well, do you want to do, like, buff it up to, like, four, four Chaos... Well, four Chaos Dwarves and six Hounds to send them 
we're up against. You've got four dwarves and three. I've got four dwarves, three ogres, and a uh, centaur that can hit. But it's going on. <laughs> yeah, but it's going on. They're up for their trunks. <laughs> yeah, you, you're going to have a D3. If you roll like D3, you can see how many they've got over the head. I'm a. Is that a stick? Yeah, that'd be three. You can either do them individually or do them both the same. I've got It's more work. Yeah. I'm going to do it individually. Right. A map, sorry, what did you got? You got your Chaos Warrior, who's hard as nails, and how many. Yeah. How many of the other guys did you get? Bella. Uh, okay, and then there's five chaos champion, uh, chaos beastmen, beastmen, five beastmen. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's probably fair because your chaos warrior is going to be pretty nails. Yeah, I've just rolled up. He's got a battle banner or something. Right, so. I bet I'd roll up mine as well. Right, I'll get a roll up mine as well. Then is it? Uh, is it you it, have to click the table. Oh, I'll this one again. Not zoology. Yeah. Pablo, you two want to swap books? Okay. Thank you. Warhounds, it'll be your creatures. Uh, creatures. Chaos rewards. What's chaos? Chaos, chaos, chaos where? How does that work? Uh, that mean I'm a werewolf? No, it means that you have to generate a new profile, a randomly determined creature of that chart that is what you turn into. Okay. That's not my oak. <laughs> so you could quite, I, or could it give you, I think it might actually give you a chart to roll on to see what you turn into. Right. And so if you look up the chaos mutations table, mm -hmm. Slaves to Darkness. Uh, no. Actually, read the entry. It will give you Slaves to Darkness, right? Got it. Slaves to Darkness page. Weird form. Yeah. It'll be. This is so cool, man. I have a troll, which is fishy. We have some fishy. Merle troll. Nice. Is it Chaos Weir? Yeah, W-E-R. No, but it's C with a... Because I'm looking there in alphabetical order. I'm just looking it up. Yeah, yeah, chaos, yeah. Uh, generate a random using the instant chaos born. Also give it D6 chaos attribute. So... Right, so the model subjects to, to frenzy, which is... Um, there's some rules... Uh, for frenzy, and you have to take a willpower test when you become frenzied to see if you turn into the mutant. And it has a different, separate profile with separate fear points. So, how do I generate the creature? Sixty page sixty-five in 65. Slaves to Darkness has got everything you need. I'm on it. I really want it to be. I really want my ogre to turn into like a goblin. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Just playing it out. I've got too many numbers. Oh, there's lots of misprints. Yeah. So like, where are we? Where are we? Like, I wrote down all the numbers, and then I was going to copy all the all the the profiles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So movement six, weapon skill three. Yeah, strength. Yeah, yeah that's right. Right. But why, is it, why have I got three extra numbers? Because it's leadership, intelligence, cool, and willpower. That's right. So now, nowadays, or like the previous editions of Warhammer, after this one, they just yeah. put it all into leadership. Right. But this one has leadership, intelligence, cool, and willpower. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, I remember <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, rope gradering again. Yep. Right, minor two. Well, what was the zoological feature thing? Was well, they're in alphabetical order. You're on dominant chaos attributes. You want oh, oh. Oh. chaos attributes here. Uh, Sorry, there's two systems for doing it. The one. Um, okay. Yeah. Yes. I have, so I have to do six attributes for mine. You can do up to. You don't have to do them all. If, if you want just more like a dude who's just a hard chaos warrior, you can do him. If you want something really weird, roll them all up and have a silly voice <laughs> and a long neck and uh, fast, but also a hopper and like, it's up to you. Okay. Really. Or if you just want to give them one. And, and... 
just for a bit of flavour. What happens with doubles if you get it twice? If it's possible, I suppose. Uh, just pick one. Just like pick something fun. I trust you not to okay. utterly yeah. break it in power game. Oh, yeah, but if you want to, you know, go for Chaos Lord if you want. That's the best one. I get fucking great. Or, you know, like Crab Lord. Or, yeah, just have a read through and whatever you feel like. Whatever you feel like. Because it's your Chaos an aquatic troll with the you know, you're probably going to build this guy, so go for something that kind of look, yeah. is look, your look and feel, you know? Okay, cool. Cloven hooves. Hooves. Uh, invent your own. <laughs> well, it's kind of like coming out as already the one I've already got, that's... Uh, beast man hero. It's a beast man, but he's not a beast man. Mm. Hospital heads. I asked Rick Priestley, right? Uh, why does a beast man have one attack and two wounds? But then if you take a man and give him bestial face, why does he have one wound and two attacks? You know what the answer was? Brian Ansel said he wanted that way. So that's the way it was. I think that's a standard excuse. Yeah, that's a yeah. standard excuse. That one. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why would he want it that way anyway? Ah, uh, because he wanted his his beastmen to have two wounds and one attack when they were doing the stats. Because that's what his army was, and he wanted them to be a bit. He, well, no, he wanted them to be a bit like the brew, you know. So as they don't do a lot of attacks, yeah. but they're tough as heck. Whereas then, obviously, if yeah. you get horns. You get an extra attack, so best you'll face horns and you get your extra attack. You know, you usually roll up the face of a goat, isn't it? Yeah, um, let's roll up the last one. Right, I've got, uh, I've got a level 10 beast man and... Empire. What a bad... <laughs> D6 Minotaurs, right. I don't want Minotaurs. Five minotaurs, no, that, that is just awful. I'm going to kill you all. Right, I'll think about that one. Okay, we've got uh, three minutes left until the one hour mark, so I'm going to stop recording now. We've all got our warbands. Matt's got, what, like, what have you got then? Let's just quickly go through them. Um, I have a Chaos Goblin, so he's going to be a bit of a short maniac. Uh, he's got the Hymn of Hate, so he hates everybody. Um, he's fast, uh, hypnotic gaze, but he's got a very silly voice. So what is a silly voice on a goblin? We don't know. Could be like, and, what uh, you, and your followers and are? A chaos warrior. So it's a mixture of, it's like a skull face, a bestial skull face, fangs, uh, invent your own, own reroll, whatever that means. So that's make up shit. Um, cloven hooves and then something else I've got to add on there as well if maybe and then they've got lots of battle standards so he's got a battle standard so he could be hanging off his back in that traditional kind of blanchesse styley okay um, and you the can put, got a battle you can put him in your your uh, your beastman squad and he'll give him loads of buffs yeah. really good. right okay um Pablo, what have you got I've got a human level 10 with some mercenaries um, two trolls. One of them has a oh. tiger face. Yeah. It's a bit of mer creature. Yeah. Fish. Water. Yeah. And weapon master. Woo! Flipping heck. That is scary. A troll with weapon master. That gives plus six weapon skill. No, plus one, is it? I think it, you said. Uh, you're looking one. on the wrong one. You're looking on the dominant. You're looking on the wrong chart, mate. No, no, I'm looking because I want, maybe I will roll again the, the it's gold the wrong chart. It's the wrong chart. But for this the, is the chart. I'm looking for the, the the mutation thing. This is the chart. Okay. Weapon master. You looked at the wrong chart. There's two charts of mutations. There's one for units, one for Yeah, but this is a unit. unit yeah, right? but we, there but are two because we're doing war bands, everybody gets personal ones. Okay, okay. So weapon master. Here. Plus six. The other thing I forgot to say is we've all got D six points, Matt. You get D, well, 
let's just all have we've all got six points to spend on equipment for your champion, right? And the equipment is I think it's on the very, very last page of the rule book. I just got that. Uh yeah, it's the very last page. Two nine six. Right. And one thing that I do that is not against the rules but isn't specifically in the rules is you can sell all the equipment on all of your characters at the points cost listed and buy back whatever you want. Right? So you get six points to spend on equipment, plus you're allowed to just monkey around with what you've got. Like if you don't want shield and sword, you can sell them and buy like double handed weapons or, you know, whatever you like. <laughs> Did you oh, get the, other, the other one is. So that's, that's just the standard little weapon release. Really. Yeah, for yeah. Warhammer Fantasy Battle. For my trolls, yeah. my troll uh, one. So we've just got six points. Right. My, my Warhams. I didn't roll to see if they had any um, mutations or anything. You can have these three. Sorry? I was just talking to, to Monk. Okay. So we've got right. six points. Okay. Yeah. For, your, yeah, for your champion, and you can sell equipment. Wow. Yeah. I can roll with okay. Did you get that? Yes. You've three. Six points. Fire. Fire. Three. Yeah. Fire. And the. Uh, on the equipment, and that's the last one. Yeah. 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 Let's have a look. Du, 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 du. I'll read it. Somebody's tapping it. One thing that's very useful to buy is a horse. Yeah. If, if you've got low movement, then you can get a horse and you can go sit. Uh, you can go out. Right. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, Monk, what did you get? Ooh. I got ten. a Northern, uh, level 10 wizard. He mm -hmm. does have regeneration. Um. He has a four dwarves in his. Do you want to lean forward a bit so we can see your, your beautiful face? Hi, hi everybody. Uh, I've got four dwarves uh, in his retinue: light armor, shield, spear, and some other bits. And then I have six warhounds. So you know, with the plasma guns and the, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll fuck you all up. Yeah. Each one of those warhounds has got a mutation, a single mutation. Okay, cool. Uh, Dave, what have you got? I've got a massive. Centaur, uh, which is like the side of a house but can't hit a blonde door. I've got four ogres, no, wait, I've got three ogres, one with rotting flesh, one with an evil eye, uh, and one that's aware that I've got to work out what he turns into. And I've got four chaos dwarves, okay, so, cool. Uh, and your equipment as well, roll a five or a six, and you can have a, either a what was it, a spear or a bow. I've got three. Oh, okay, so they've got uh, light armor, shield, light and armor. Yeah, it said light armor, shield, spear, hand weapon, and and you can have a crossbow. So I will have a crossbow as well. All right, all right. Well, it, it says if you want, and I'm like, well, yeah. Uh, also, if you, you want to take if you want to take uh, a standard and okay. musician, you want to take that as well. Standard and musician. It probably won't make any difference with the size of them, but it's always quite fun. You can take a standard yeah. and musician for either them or the trolls as well, if you want. So is that like an additional model or that make no, I just give a standard. Yeah. It just gives you a chance to paint a really cool yeah. banner and stuff. All right, guys. Uh, and I got uh, my Minotaur <coughs> with, with a Beastman level 10 champion and D6 Minotaurs, which is too powerful. So I'm going to fiddle about and have a bit of a think. All right. Bye. You guys want to say bye? Bye. 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 Everyone. Bye. Curtis from the future. Yeah, basically, the war bands ended up being like a little bit unbalanced. Um, Monk ended up with like four dwarfs and this, like some chaos hounds uh, versus like um, three ogres, two trolls and like a buffed up chaos warrior so what i did was after we finished i had a bit of a think about it and then um like let everybody take some extra monsters and things anybody that was under so monk we swapped his chaos hounds out for temple dogs which are insane they're like they get like a special rule where they hit on a 10 when they charge and stuff so they're pretty fun to play with and um, they'll be able to go toe-to-toes -to with an ogre kind of thing. Um, James, who was... Jim, who was watching, he did a warband while we were doing it. Um, and his was a bit underpowered as well. So I had, like, a table...
let him pick something off the table, roll off the table for like a fear causing monster. Um, and then uh, buffed up Matt's Chaos Warrior a little bit to make him more frightening. So as he causes fear as well. Um, we rolled up Monk's spells and he should, I, I basically let him pick what he wanted because he doesn't know what he's he, he can't power game it because he doesn't know what he's doing So um, with, with the system so he got uh, the necromancer summon skeletons so basically he gets to roll 7 like he can summon 7d6 skeletons and they cause fear as well so basically we've all got something pretty buff like monstery a little squad of like dudes whatever and a f some fear co a fear causing monstrous unit of some type uh so yeah we're all sort of evened out um i got the five minotaurs which will just probably slay everybody especially if i rolled up a crazy chaos mutation so what i did was i'm taking them as chaos spawn instead and just completely randomly generating them. I got about halfway through to doing them, and it's like it's a lot of rolls. So yeah, I'm gonna have like a, you know, my Minotaur champion in chaos armor, like a flipping corn kill monster, uh, uh, like a beastman champion, and these five chaos spawn that will be really weird and different. So yeah, I uh, just thought I better say that, and then yeah, we're all kind of started. Thinking about what we're going to be making, and some of us have started gluing them together. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Cheers. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.